If you're working with a saddle stitch, you're going to want to definitely make a mock-up because a saddle stitch will be um, bound through a fold um, and that means that you're going to have to count out your pages that are folded. Um, a perfect bind is a lot easier and more flexible because each page is individual so you can reorganize um, and, and modify your pages as you're working. Um, if you do decide to do the saddle stitch, just plain paper can be used to make a mock-up. All you want to do is uh, know your number of pages. Remember that you're going to divide by four because each page has four sides. So the first page is going to be the front cover, the inside, and then basically the last page in the back cover. So if I were making a mock-up using this, I would just write on my, on my test front cover and number one and then two and then three and you get the idea and so on. I've done the rest for us. Four or five all the way through. I have four sheets of paper here and four times four is sixteen so the last page or the back cover is our sixteenth page. My center spread is always going to be the middle two pages and they're always going to be facing one another so you'll see that when you get to the program using InDesign. Your mock-up doesn't have to be the same size as the final product. It's just a nice way to know what's going to happen on each page because it's hard to pre-visualize um, you know, one and two and then all the way back here, 15 and 16, happening on one page.